Welcome to another Devo in the morning. It's another Wednesday and it is gorgeous outside. They just came and mowed our grass this morning. Not sure if they needed to, but I think it killed all those mosquitoes I was looking at last night. So today we're gonna look at 1 John. So if you have your Bibles, make sure you go to 1 John. We're just gonna be looking at 1 John 1. We're gonna be looking at the little verses five to 10. This is the message that we have heard from him and proclaim to you that God is light and in him is no darkness at all. If we say we have fellowship with him while we walk in darkness, we lie and do not practice the truth. But if we walk in the light as he is in the light, we have fellowship with one another and the blood of Jesus, his son cleanses us from all sin. If we say we have no sin, we deceive ourselves and the truth is not in us. And if we confess our sins, he is faithful and just to forgive us our sins and to cleanse us all from all unrighteousness. And if we say we have not sinned, we make him a liar and his word is not in us. So the past two weeks at Youth on Tuesday, we've been looking at testimony. We've been giving you guys opportunity to ask questions. Testimony occurs as we state our intention and desire to follow Jesus. But in verse 6 here, it states this. If we say we have fellowship with him while we walk in darkness, we lie and do not practice the truth. And so if we say that we have fellowship, that we state that, but we actually are not and we're actually walking in darkness instead of in the light. We're just lying to ourselves. We're not stating the truth. The thing about this relationship with God is that when we choose to follow him, we choose to walk in the light. We choose to allow what's around us to be illuminated. Our sins, our brokenness, and also everything else around us, our love for other people and for each other and for God is illuminated. And so this is the thing though, is are we still walking in darkness? Do we lie? actually to ourselves and not practice the truth. See, but how many of us have actually stated that we follow Jesus at one point or another, but actually walk in darkness and we actually do exactly what the scripture is saying. And uh, we stand on the faith of somebody else, whether it's a parent or a leader or our pastor or a brother or a sister, we stand on somebody else's faith rather than our own. And we state, hey, I'm following Jesus but actually you're not, you're going and doing your own thing and you're just doing the motions of what it is to be a Christ follower, but you're actually not following after him. So rather than walking in the light ourselves, we're allowing others to walk in the light for us and we consider that our own faith. Do not state that you walk in the light, but you actually do not. So what does the word walk actually mean here in the Bible? Walk, the word walk in Greek means per api, peri, peri, pa, peri, patio, peri, pateo, peri, pateo. I got it. Pronunciation is not a strong point for me. And so in the Greek though, what it actually means is to make one's way, to regulate one's life, to conduct oneself, to pass on one's life. And then in the Hebrew, what that word actually means, walk. Walk means to live. So that's what it means. When we're talking about walk, we're not talking about going out for a jaunt, a little stroll, a turn. What we're talking about is to live. And so when this is talking about walking in the light, this is actually saying to live in the light. And so what does the word light mean? In the Greek, the Greek word is phos. Light is not just about illumination here, but also about manifestation. And so illumination, light illuminates what's around you, obviously. It reveals 
what is around you <laughs> because you can see. If you guys were walking in the dark or if you were blind, you would see no light at all. You would have no idea if you've never seen the world before what a door actually looks like or what a dog looks like. You're guessing, you're, you'd have to feel around and yet even so, you actually still would have no idea what it truly is. But light, also in this Greek meaning, is not just to illuminate, but to also manifest, is that the light manifests God and his reality, that he is God, that he is life itself. So number one, to manifest God, and number two is to reveal life and impart it to you. You see, life illuminates and reveals the work of God in your life. And so if you're not walking in the light and you're saying to yourself, man, I've never heard from God. I've never, I've never experienced his presence. Maybe it's because you still continue to walk in darkness. You still continue to walk after the desires of your own sins and your own desires. And maybe you're only stating that you're actually following after life, but in truth, you're lying to yourself and you're actually not. Do we walk in the light this morning or do we walk in darkness? I want you guys to ask yourself that question. Do you say that you walk in the light, but do you actually walk in darkness? And the faith that which we claim to have is not actually ours, but actually somebody else's. Is that true for you this morning? I want to encourage you guys to lay hold of your own faith to not just walk on the faith of those before you or around you, but to claim it for yourself, to walk in the light for yourself, to let the Holy Spirit guide and shape you, to change, to be willing to do that. I wanna just finish with this. I wanna encourage you guys to let your light shine, to not be afraid of it, <laughs> to not be afraid to let it out, but to show it to others, to show it to your family, to show the patience, the goodness, the kindness, all the fruits of the spirit to your family and friends and let Jesus shine out of you guys because you follow after him. You walk in the light and you're no longer walking in darkness. I want to also encourage you guys to write your testimony this week. Honestly, write it down, interact with why you follow Jesus. Make it plain to yourself. May you know why. Make your faith, claim it your own and no longer be satisfied to let others walk in the light for you. But walk in the light yourself. I will see you guys later and uh, have a good week.